What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. This week for the first time we decided to drive to the Mara because last time we, well, we flew here yeah. and surprisingly it went well. A lot better than I expected, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, so we're actually staying in Naboysha Conservancy. I'm butchering that, but I don't care. Yeah, you guys uh, will let us know, I know. <laughs> so it's in the Mara region and we're actually staying at Ol Sike by the Hemingway's collection. And let me tell you, it is insane. Yeah. So we came with a couple of our friends and we're staying in the Simba tent. And if you have a chance to stay here, highly recommend so far. Don't know about the service yet, but I, I already know. The tent is pretty cool. We can basically like live here without yeah. leaving if we want, because you guys will see, but we have everything. So we're going to yeah. he be here for the next two nights and let's, Let sh let's yeah. show them around. Let's show them the tent. Okay, let's check it out. So as you can see, this tent is massive and you kind of see on each end of it, we have bedrooms on either side. So we have some friends with us, so they're on one end and then we're on the other. But what we didn't know coming here is in the middle, since it's a suite, we get all of our meals here, we have a small bar here. We really don't have to go to the main lodge if we don't want to. So when you come in the middle section of the Simba tent, like I said, this is where you have your lounge. So you have a nice little seating area here. You have a table to have your lunch, supper, breakfast, all of those. And I believe our morning tea and coffee will be served right here as well. We have a fridge and a bar that is literally fully stocked. There's nothing else we could ask for. And then if you keep coming down this way, this is our main bedroom. So like I said, there's two bedrooms on either side. We'll show you ours. The other one's the exact same except with two twin beds. So this is your king size bed. You have a couple chairs. Another thing to note that we love is you have this little thing that you can put your valuables in, lock it with the key so you know it's safe. Massive day bed. Like, I'm pretty sure this could act as a whole other bed, actually. And then when you come in this side, you have your bathroom. So, main toilet, bathroom area. One thing to note, lots of bottled water, so that's really nice. And then you come into your shower. Your shower area is actually huge. A lot bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. And then your robes, your storage area, everything like that. So it's the exact same design on the other side of the tent. Like I said, just with two twin beds for our accommodation. So because we have our own kind of, you know, living room and dining room behind me, apparently like we can have all our meals here. So I'm not sure if they're gonna actually cook here because there's like a full kitchen, like a full kitchen. And look at the fridge. Like there's literally everything you can dream of. You, you want pop? I got pop. You want beer? I got beer. You want wine? I got wine. So we're, we're not gonna be thirsty. What do you think? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so even though we just arrived, we're gonna get chains, go to the pool, and while we're going there, well, we're gonna be able to show you the rest of the camp. It's all very similar, and like Tracy said earlier, we're probably not gonna really leave this place because we literally have everything. So, but, but, but you guys have to see the rest. So as we're on our way to the pool, we thought we'd stop and kind of show you the main lodge, the lounge, everything like that, and the pool area. So, come here. So as you can see here, we actually have the main dining area. And if you come over this way, you can see the incredible view and it looks like they're set up to be able to have like a dinner or something down there as well for certain guests. So then you keep coming down the path and you come into their main lounge area. So this one has a bar, has more kind of comfy seating and everything like that. And then you're gonna continue down a little further and we'll get to the pool. We 
just found a little buddy there just uh, chilling in the shade. I like that. I like his style. Maybe I'll do the same. So from here, there's actually great look off points and actually from our tent as well. And you'll see that within the drone shot that you probably just saw. Um, and in the background, we have zebras. What I love about living in Kenya is that this morning I woke up in my bed at home and then a few hours later, boom, Masamara, Safari Land. Like, this is like unbelievable experiences. Got my book. I'm gonna sit and swim and drink a gin and tonic. Good afternoon. Well, that was for sure a nice and refreshing. Now we're gonna go back to our tent and actually have lunch in our own living room. How cool is that? Hopefully it's gonna be good because you guys know I like food and if the food is good, nothing else matter. So we actually have our own chef that comes to our tent to prepare our food for all four of us. So let's go see what's cooking. So we have Julius there and Chef Masha. They're gonna take good care of us. They, he looks like a good chef. I, I, yeah, I think it's, yeah. I think it's gonna yeah. be good. <laughs> Salad, bol, uh, pasta, Ooh, and, and, and a good dessert. Don't tell her yet, she, she, she's gonna be impressed. My favorite. <laughs> well, that was a very nice lunch. Now Tracy and everyone else except me apparently is crashing a little. Just for a half hour. Yeah. And then after that, at four, we're gonna go for our first safari here at Hemingway's. Yeah. Pretty excited about that. Me too. That's gonna be great. See you guys in the safari, because those people are just, they're, they're sleeping. Yes. Good night. <laughs> guys, it is safari time. I'm so pumped. Yeah, we didn't go on a safari for like, I don't a know, month. like a month or something. <laughs> They're our it's been favorite. so long. Like, they really are our favorite. Yeah, we do like going to the coast and doing all those other cool stuff like Airbnbs, unique places, and yeah. whatever, but safaris are the best. Nothing so, beats let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> We were staring at giraffes out of one side of the truck and I turned around because we were getting ready to leave and I was like, there's, there's a leopard just sitting in the tree. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> How often do you see leopards? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy said that, I turned around, saw him just jump off the tree and hopefully got a few, a few good shots. So very lucky, very, very lucky. This is nuts guys, we just found another leopard, this time in a tree. Like leopards are rare and we have been lucky since we arrived to Kenya because we had multiple leopard sightings, but like two in the same day, in the same game drive, that is unheard of. Cheers. <laughs> and a little snack while we wait for the leopards. We even just spotted the cubs. What was that, guys? How lucky. <laughs> we saw like, what? Three leopards. Technically four. Well, no. I didn't three. see the fourth one. Yeah, it was that's fair. one cub and two full on grown leopard and then four cheetahs. Four cheetahs. They and were the famous five brothers. But one was missing. Yeah, for like the last two days or something. I haven't seen the fifth one that's just been the four, so I think it's just lost currently. <laughs> <laughs> Do, I don't know. Doing its own thing. Yeah. Probably found a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. 
And, and a, like, a ridiculous amount of hyenas. But not only that, like, to be the first game drive, like, not over the span of, like, our stay here. No. That was a first game drive. We saw our first leopard within, like, the first 10 minutes of our first game drive here at Hemingway's. That was insane. It, that insane. is... Insane. And, you know, it, I'm not saying, like, this is no. a better area to see more leopards or anything. It's pure luck. Like, really pure luck. Our, our guy literally told us that he, he didn't see a leopard since, like, what, April? Yeah. So, yeah, like, like, it's pure luck. So, yeah. Three leopards, four <laughs> cheetahs. Anyways, let's get changed and have some supper. My mind is still blown and, like, I'm just like, what? <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, let's get changed and get some supper, I guess. Tracy, show us your Christmas dress. It's not Christmas. Stop. See? It's not Christmas. It looks like Christmas to me. It's just red. It's Christmas Bye. dress. Merry it's Christmas, fun. everyone. I love the soups and it's squash soup tonight. Well, that was a lovely supper. That's it was a great very supper. good. Our chef is really nice. And Julius, very nice too. Yeah. Um, chilled a little bit, had a little glass of wine with our friends. Now we're gonna go to bed. It's quite chilly, eh? I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna sleep just well. Yeah, so we're gonna go to bed because obviously we're in a safari camp meaning that tomorrow wake up call 6 a.m to go in the morning safari so i'll see you guys in the morning good morning it's 6 a.m wake up call ready to have some coffee <laughs> not me but i'll get water <laughs> it's a little chilly <laughs> you ready to go I'm ready. Coffee she got, in hand. She got her coffee. I got my coffee we mug get, like, full of water. Don't travel worry. Travel mugs for the truck this time. Yeah. Normally you just yeah. get it and then you have to chug it and go. No, oh, those are actually very nice. Can we keep them? I mean, we can. I'm wondering. I think we can keep them. We'll Maybe ask. We'll. <laughs> or maybe we won't ask. <laughs> okay, let's go for a morning safari. <laughs> They actually have ponchos and they're lined and it is freaking amazing because I'm freezing. <laughs> it's kind of winter right now in Kenya. It's a, a little bit cold, like not like Canada cold, but still chilly in the morning. Tonight, we won't let go. So after seeing a lion, we saw about like 50 different hippos, which makes Tracy very happy because hippos are in their top favorite. <laughs> so we just found a bunch of animals that were all looking the same direction and then at some point uh, one just started to sprint in the opposite way so we were able to actually found a, a cheetah just one alone doesn't look like it wants to hunt but still very pretty cheetah we decided to track it for about I don't know like 20 minutes or so no and I was like there's no way nothing's gonna happen and then it got a gazelle I'm blown away first kill <laughs> this is crazy now it, it looks like you know after the run and everything it gets very tired so now it's just sitting down beside a bush with the kill and it's just looking around trying to gain some energy back before starting to eat i guess unbelievable this is the luckiest safaris we've had ever by far i thought yesterday was lucky when we saw like you know a million cheetahs and leopard but with a kill this morning damn <laughs> it's quite something okay the odds of this happening are very small because we've seen too much already but right now there's a female lion 
that is very looking like it's tracking some zebras it's like hidden in the bushes right now the zebras have no clue that she's there so we'll wait and see but damn that can that cannot happen So no second kill, as expected, because that, that would have been like, that would have been crazy. Everything we saw so far was so, so much more than what we ever could have expected. So we're gonna go check out the cheetah again, just see if uh, she started, he started to, uh, to actually feed. And then after that, it's gonna be our, our turn to feed because I'm pretty hungry. On our way back to the camp, David like abruptly stops and you would not believe it. We just found a leopard in a tree with a kill. Like, there's no words for this day. <laughs> time is true we're going back to the camp we're gonna close our eyes until we arrive because I gotta eat <laughs> so can't do this anymore it's almost 11 it was great we gotta eat so we're just back to our massive tent can't believe how, how big this tent is oh, we're gonna have breakfast because we are starving and then we're gonna have to talk about what just happened yeah unbelievable yes Wow, that was quite something. Yeah. <laughs> no <So>. words. <laughs> we, did we talk about our safari last night? I guess a little bit. A little bit. bit. Um, yeah, this morning we went out, probably for like the first hour, didn't see much, and then we saw, I think it started off, that we saw a cheetah. A cheetah, yeah. And I was like, well, that's cool. And so we were just kind of watching him. He wasn't that interested in hunting, and we have never seen a kill here, like never. never. Um, and it's very rare. Like if you if you know anything about safaris, yeah. you know how rare it is to see a kill. Or you know it takes like four hours. Oh yeah. Twenty minutes after seeing the cheetah, we saw it with a kill. It's unbelievable. So let's just continue this. So phenomenal, crazy. And then we turn and look at the other side. Probably about like five ten minutes after like it had a kill, it was starting yeah. to eat. Um, we look out the wind out the side. And if you look way up at the top of the hill, there's a lion. Looks like a rock, but it was a lion. It was a female lion and Hunting she was zebras. really looking at those zebras. So then we go up there, but then lions are lazy sometimes. Yeah. So it didn't do that. Didn't happen. So we went back to the cheetah, watched it eat a little bit. And we're like, okay, like we're starving. Let's go home. Yeah. Let's go back for uh, breakfast. For breakfast yeah. And then all of a sudden <laughs> the truck stops. And one of our friends was like, oh, there's a leopard in the tree jokingly. We looked up and there's a leopard in the tree and goes, <laughs> could you imagine if it had a kill? With a kill. There's a kill. A leopard eating its kill in the tree with a second leopard <laughs> at the at base the bottom, of the tree. Like, they were probably like mating, mating yeah. eating, mating, eating kind of thing. But yeah, so boom, two leopards, two one kills. in the tree with a kill after seeing an actual full on kill from I'm trying to save my life to I guess you're going to eat my left legs. Like I just <laughs> am blown away. Yeah. I'm blown away. At, yesterday I thought, you know, like safaris are pure luck, but like two safaris in a row, I'm starting to think that this conservancy has Let's something special. Let's give it special. tonight. Let's give it tonight yeah, too. Yeah, that's fair. But I also do think that, and maybe I'm wrong in saying this, because it's not summertime and yeah. it's getting into the winter, the animals are owed a little bit more, like at least in the morning. It's not evening. as warm. I, this is just my like yeah. trying to justify it. Well, I don't know. Anyway, we just took a shower. Yeah. It's pretty good. We need some lunch. Now we're going to eat some lunch. And then we're gonna go out for another safari and try to find well, some, why not? I don't know, a black panther. I know there's none here, but nothing's impossible now. <laughs> if you can manifest it like Oprah. <laughs> Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go get lunch. Masha, you outdid yourself. It looks very good. Thank you. Looks delicious. Mm -hmm. 
Ninja. This is it. Second safari of the day and I truly believe that we're going to see a Black Panther today. <laughs> this is where we're at. Because we'll every team we've seen do. so far is kind of impossible. So we're at Black Panther now. Or Which Pink Elephant. Actually, Pink well. Elephant maybe? <laughs> bing bong, bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on another one. David, I have a question for you. Yeah. If you had to pick between a Land Cruiser and a Land Rover, what would you pick? Um, Land Rover is best. Yes! Uh, there you go. It works so well. The problem is just... Not reliable. The spares. Yeah, the yeah spares. that's fair. But and also in the Maasai Mara, you know, Land, uh, land Rover is a bit lighter. Yeah. Uh, land Cruisers are very heavy, so when it's raining, Chances of gain, getting stuck with a okay. Land Cruiser are very high. Fair enough. But overall, Land Rovers are better. Better. There you go. Yes. <laughs> We're ready. Ready. Let's go. So we will try it today. So we're cheating a little bit, but we just went back to the tree where we found the leopard. The last leopard, <laughs> at least. And he's still there. Eating his kill all day long, apparently. So we decided to come back where we saw the kill this morning, and we thought that, you know, it would probably be like. Uh, 90% eat animal. Or if it even still there. Yeah, something like, you know, like uh, hyenas or something would have finished the meal. But the cheetah is still there in the same bush and the, uh, the gazelle from this morning is still pretty intact. It looks the same as when we left, which is kind of a weird behavior apparently. It's practicing and behaving the same way lions and uh, leopards do. You they eat, they are full, and they guard the kill. Very interesting behavior. So we just arrived for Sundowner in the middle of the beautiful Nabosho Conservancy in the Masemara area and it is phenomenal. It really is. This golden hour is very pretty. I know. I was just <laughs> <laughs> we're not this pretty in real life guys. <laughs> so we're gonna enjoy this beautiful sunset, eat a few bites before going back for supper. Yeah. Cheers to the sunset in the middle of the golden hour. Cheers. Perfect. <laughs> tent after yeah. another great safari i mean like so far every single time we went out on a game drive we've seen cheetahs like, and really, yeah. leopard yeah and so this time we actually as you saw we went back to the same sites that it's a little cheating but still like yeah crazy that they were, but still, they were there. still there after like hours later especially like the cheetah with the kill sleeping beside it like yeah. a lion like very unusual behavior yeah but anyway after that we went on a sundowner which was really really nice a little cloudy but still very nice. Yeah, it wasn't nice. that bad. And honestly, now we're about to have supper outside on our front deck and the stars are out and I, like I caught a quick glimpse of it and I was like, don't look yet, don't yeah. look yet. Like it's, it's a, beautiful. They have a very nice setup for us outside. We'll, we'll show you. Yeah. So let's get changed. Let's do that. <laughs> Good morning, another early morning. Always worth it though. Last safari? Yeah, it is. And we're gonna have a bush, well, we can't talk. We're gonna have a bush <laughs> breakfast too this early. morning. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's do that. Oh, it's hot. Morning safari team, let's go. <laughs> Now we 
found three large male lions. <laughs> It was quite a short sighting, but from distance we actually saw three massive male lion. One from pretty close for about like 30 seconds, but we'll take it. So we just arrived in a beautiful area for our bush breakfast and normally you know bush breakfasts are like in a random place where they just take a table and a couple of chairs and some food from the truck and you know you just have breakfast there but here it's a little bit more elaborate so check it out. And now it's time for breakfast. Lovely breakfast this was. That was a great breakfast. That was very nice. It's the first time we've had like the bush breakfast with literally the chef making it there yeah. instead of like packed in the morning. Yeah, so it was so actually good. like, you know, warm and fresh and stuff. Not yeah. that the other ones are not good, but like that's just a little bit better. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> As usual, it's review time. <laughs> so I understand that safaris are luck and it does kind of make me still biased towards this conservancy. Yeah. We had the best safari we've ever had. And I really By don't far. even know how you could top that. Like there's no way. Yeah. But at first, you know, when we had the first few sightings of leopards and cheetahs, I was like, you know, that is pure luck. But then yeah. the second one, the third one, <laughs> and then all those lions, including male lions this morning, I'm starting to think that this conservancy, at this time of the year, I would say, yeah. because it's it's more, it's cooler, yeah. is, is quite something. But like the kills <laughs> all in one drive too, like yeah. that was insane. Yeah. So, Anyways, great safaris. Luck, but maybe this conservancy is a little bit better. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm putting this on the table. <laughs> it's like Lala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyways, um, as for our accommodation, so we'll be honest, we actually did get upgraded for, because we came with a group, and we got the suite. So the Simba suite tent, which includes a living room, as you've seen. So we had all of our meals here. We had a meal outside last night for supper yeah, under the stars. Nice. They even brought a fire pit out, which was yeah. fantastic. And we had a bush breakfast this morning. Yeah. Like there's nothing, they literally, the chef comes and makes yeah, the meals in your tent. They don't just like quarter like it down. You're completely like self-sufficient. You do not yeah. have to go anywhere if you don't have to no. go anywhere. No. So there's a pool there, obviously, that we went to, but that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. So spacious rooms, you have Wi-Fi. I would say limited, but great service if yep. you're coming like and have to work or anything like that. Yep. Um, bathroom was still huge, huge shower. Yeah. Like very, there's nothing more yeah, you could ask Very for. nice compound overall. Staff is oh. amazing. And our truck saga continues. Got a flat here and oh, we went yeah. on a game drive and came back and they fixed it. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're really, really good. A uh, special shout out to like David, our driver. It oh, was amazing. Goodness. Masha, the chef, and yep. Julius took really good care of us uh, for every single meal. So big shout out to them. It was very, very good. Yeah, I have nothing else to say. No. It was amazing. Would, uh, well, yeah, 10, 10 out of 10, 10 would, would do, do it, it again. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I knew it. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's time for us to go back to Nairobi. We're probably going to be stuck in traffic for five days or something like that. Probably. So we'll see you guys, I guess, in the next one. So don't forget to like this video, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. And see you in the next one. <laughs>